I just want to thank God for your partnership and friendship for decades. We couldn't do what we do without friends like you. For brevity, I'm going to just read off of my notes because after doing this video, I'm actually on the way to Uvalde, Texas. Along with many ministry assignments and church services, May 1st began with my participation in the annual March of Remembrance. During the gathering, I also spent time talking with the Consul General of Poland, who was sharing with me what they've been doing in regards to helping the over 2.5 million Ukrainian refugees who've come through Poland. We also launched Her God Story. It's a podcast hosted by our Vice President, Jody Caracosta. This interview style shares the stories of how God is working in and through lives of women today. You can find Her God Story on most podcast streaming platforms. Check it out and follow it so you won't miss an episode. You can also continue to find my podcast, A Word in Season with Doug Stringer and Friends, on the same streaming platforms. I encourage you to listen to my recent interview with revivalist Winky Prattney as we discussed how to prepare for the coming revival. He was in Auckland, 15 hours ahead of me in Houston, and yet it was a powerful gathering as we talked to this legend who has impacted so many parts of the body of Christ for over 50 plus years. And then we had a very, very important conversation with Fred Markert of the Great Awakening Project and Jim Garlow of Well Versed as we talked about the situation and the global ramifications that surround the Ukrainian and Russian war. As a co-facilitator with the United States Council of Apostolic Leaders and for their global table of leaders Zoom calls, I'm often asked to facilitate or to participate in the discussions surrounding important and current global issues. I was invited and ministered for Care Portal Vision Lunch for pastors and leaders and to engage and equip churches in the practical ways to help and assist in the foster care system. During National Day of Prayer Week and during National Law Enforcement Week, I was asked to participate in various gatherings for the Houston Police Department, as well as other law enforcement agencies, including Harris County Constables Precinct 5 Prayer Gatherings. Somebody Cares Houston and America received an award and a plaque from the Harris County Constables Precinct 5 for our time of serving and helping in the aftermath of the tragic loss of one of their fallen officers, as well as serving and being available for officers from that department dealing with the loss of their fellow officer. Our Somebody Cares Baltimore chapter served hundreds and hundreds of meals during National Law Enforcement Week gatherings in Baltimore. Mark Roy, our Somebody Cares Disaster Field representative, along with our longtime partner, Stephen Lang of Burnt Offerings Barbecue, which is one of our Somebody Cares partners for disaster relief, joined together as we served hundreds of meals for Harris County Constables Precinct 5 and other law enforcement on their Memorial Day, honoring their fallen officers and families. Our disaster response continues all over the country and around the world, but in particular in Ukraine. Our teams are still ministering to the Ukrainians impacted by the war, both in Ukraine and in neighboring countries. Ukrainian audio Bibles that we've been providing continues to be distributed and other care is being provided through the various partners that we work with. We've been providing funds and resources that are going in and serving our teams and partner organizations in and surrounding Ukraine. We also sent more support to help churches in Romania because they're getting a flood of Ukrainian refugees as well. And then our disaster response, of course, the fires of Texas, but also in Uvalde, the horrendous shootings that happened there. And we're ministering in the aftermath of the tragedy in Uvalde. It has been a, a primary focus in our hearts as our hearts ache to see the atrocity, the heartbreak of seeing 19 children that were murdered at Robb Elementary School and two school teachers. We're still doing what we can to serve in that community as well. In addition to having Mark Roy and our chaplain friend, Dr. Edward Smith, they deployed immediately to come alongside churches as they ministered to their community as well as they joined in prayer vigils surrounding the first few days of this tragedy. And we've also have been in constant communication with the community leaders as well as pastors, and we're also helping to facilitate and host Zoom calls to how we can talk about better serving the leadership there. We wanna make sure we're talking and working with local churches and ministries who love their community, and many of them who've lost family members. I've been in so many conversations with people that had direct relationship with cousins, with friends, with family that were actually murdered in that school. So it's a community of 16,000 people, but it's a community that is very tightly knit and it's suffering a corporate trauma right now. We wanna to continue to come alongside and see how we can best 
go to and through serving the local pastors and the community leaders there that are having to reel after all this tragedy. And when the media leaves, there's long-term grief and trauma and the corporate trauma that has to be dealt with. We're also helping and discussing how we can serve them, including looking at some uh, hope and healing services and helping with possibly some grief and trauma training for first responders and for others who are suffering with this corporate trauma. Well, that's in a nutshell, some of the highlights of the month of May. Continue to pray with us. We're all feeling stretched and overwhelmed like I'm sure many of you are. Would you stand with us? Continue to pray with us. Would you continue to believe with us that we can do more and reach more? In fact, I'm taking hundreds and hundreds of our Somebody Cares Bears. We're continuing to give out our Behind the Badge and Bulletproof Marriage devotionals for law enforcement because they're going through so much trauma themselves. There's so much we can do together that can become far more than we could do alone. So thank you again. God bless you and thank you for caring.